What's up everyone this is Vishnu and you are watching tech tutorial video. Today I am going to talk about another excel formula if and nested if. Excel formula if is one of the very commonly used important formula. It can be used for a simple calculation to very complex calculation. If formula can be used with another if which is called nested if. Also, it can be used with other Excel functions like AND, OR, MAX, MEAN, etc. Let's have a look at the syntax of IF function. It takes three parameters. First parameter is a logical test or a value or expression which can be evaluated as true or false. Second parameter is the one which will be returned if logical test is true. And the third parameter is the one which will be returned if logical test is false. Let's have a look at an example of a simple if formula. Here in this excel I have some students, their marks and we want to evaluate if the student passed or failed. If the mark is 60 or above, then we will say the student is passed or otherwise we will say student failed. Let's see how to write a formula for this. I'll go to the cell where we want to display the result, select it and then edit inside it using F2 or double clicking on it. Then type equal sign if start a bracket then the logical test and the logical test is going to be e3 greater equals to 60 then comma here is what we want to return if the logical test is true so here I'm going to write pass then comma here the value which to be returned if the logical test is false so I'm going to write fail then close the bracket I'm writing pass and fail within double quotation because these are some kind of text to be returned if your formula needs to return some number you can just write them over there without any quotation now hit enter and we will get the result like 45 mark is fail so now you can copy the same formula for other student and we will get result for everyone like 65 is pass 78 is pass 59 is fail 60 is pass and 85 is pass so this is an example of a simple if statement in excel now we will see how to write a nested if statement in Excel. Here in this example again we have some students, their marks and we want to grade their marks. If the mark is greater than or equals to 90 then the grade is A+. Plus. If the mark is greater than or equals to 80 then the grade is A. If the mark is less than 80 then grade is B. Let's see how to write this in a formula using nested if. I'll go to the cell where we want to display the result. I'll say equals if start bracket e3 greater equals to 90 then we know that the grade is A plus and if that is not true then we'll have to evaluate two more condition. One is whether the result is greater than equals to 80 or it is less than 80. So for this I will write another if statement inside the first one and this time I will say if start bracket e3 greater equals to 80 and if that is true then the grade is A or otherwise we know that it is going to be B anyway. So here I am going to have B then close bracket and then close the bracket for the first if statement and hit enter the grid is displayed for that student one 
now just copy that formula and paste it on other students and we should have the result for everybody so 65 is b 95 is a plus 59 is b 60 is b and 85 is a so this is how you can write an nested if which is if inside another if you may have to write multiple if statement inside one if statement based on complexity of your calculation for example suppose if the gradation system says that if the score is greater equals to 65 then the grade is b otherwise if the score is less than 65 then the grade is c to handle this situation we have to write another additional if statement inside the other two so to handle this what we will do is we will select the formula and where we have written b directly there we will write another if statement which says that if e3 is greater equals to 65 then it is b or otherwise it is c and close the bracket and hit enter we got the new formula now copy that for other students and we will see the results like 45 is c 65 is b 95 is a plus 59 is c 60 is c and 85 is a so this is how we can use if and nested if in excel to write formulas which can make your job much easier i will show more complex usage of such formulas in future but for now this is all i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you let me know if you like it leave me comment if you have any question or suggestion subscribe and stay tuned for more such tutorials Thank you for watching tech tutorial video. Take care. Bye bye. See you soon with another tutorial.